Welcome to my channel Tech Tips. Today I will showcase you how to configure a guest SSID with the Captive Portal authentication. Login to the IAP with the username and password. Click on the login. So you can see the network tab here. On the network tab you can see the option as a new. Click on the new. So where you can create a new SSID. So my new SSID, I'll give it as a guest. And here you can give it as see the row usage. It's a primary usage, employee, voice and guest. So we will tick it on the guest. Click on the next. So it's a virtual controller managed or network assigned. When you tick on the virtual controller managed, client will get IP address from the IAP or virtual controller. When you click on the network assigned, client will get IP address from the customer network. So now we will here for this uh, recording purpose we will give it as a virtual controller managed click on the next so here you can see splash splash page type so it will be internal acknowledged or authenticated so i will first showcase you what is internal acknowledged so you can see here the preview so on the preview it, see it's a simple so you can just accept and here you can type your terms and condition and you can connect to the network okay you can see here if you can click here you can able to edit all the columns so now i'll showcase for the authenticated for the authenticated purpose so this is how your default captive portal looks like okay so i'll just basic i do the basic customization click here ok then you can also make these changes here as per your terms and condition you can write it so I am not making any changes here I will also upload the logo can also change the background color okay this is how your captive portal looks like now you need to go to the internal user because you need to create the user so click on the user so I will give as a test I'll assign some password he is a guest user so I will add it okay so you can see here one user is added click on the next so I'm not making any changes on the access rules so I am keeping as a full access click on the finish now you can able to see the SSID here in few minutes So you can able to see the guest SSID. Now I will try to connect to the guest SSID. Okay, so I can connect. So I'll retry once again.
now it got collected so on the browser I will type something I will type it as a yahoo.com so it took me to the captive portal so I will just click on I agree Here is a test password is test123 login now i can able to you can able to see i can able to browse to the yahoo website I'll log into the iap once again you can see one client connected here click on the guest 